you have reached Red Steel's Awesome Toy Collector's Review. I'm your man, Red Steel, and today I will be reviewing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We are not. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Leonardo. But before I get into the actual review, I just want to go over some of the gnarly details on the packaging. Up front here, a typical display window showing you both the figure and all of his accessories inside. Up here, you have a lot of the vintageness of the original packaging. And on the back of the box, you have some more of that vintage love. With some of the panels up here that are almost identical to the original package. Up here it says, The evolution of the turtles. A boy's bowl of pet turtles falls into a stench of an underground city sewer. They land on Splinter, a penniless but powerful ninja master who lives in the muck. Then over here it says, Splinter's enemy, Shredder, leader of the evil Foot Clan, pours a disgusting green ooze over Splinter and accidentally the turtles, hoping to zap him dead. Then over here it says, instead, the turtle pets mutate into turtle teens and Splinter turns into the biggest rat ever to face a trap. Then over here it says, Splinter, the big cheese leader, teaches the turtles the ways of the ninja. Together they form a kick-stopping fighting team for the side of good against the deadly Foot Clan. Get ready for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And over here you have the cross sell of all four turtles. Then over here you have a profile of Leonardo that says, Portrait of Leonardo. The battle commander for the turtles. Vital Tortistics? Weapon, Katana Blade. Turtle Fist Daggers, Ninja Star, and Kama. Birthplace, McMahon's Pet Euphorium, Cheez-A-Beak Bay. Height, 5'1 on two legs. Weight, 155 pounds. Age, 16 years. Shell, bulletproof, and shock resistant. But over here, heroes in a half shell. Like his Florentine namesake, Leonardo is the perfect turtle. In the lidless eyes of his allies, he is known as the unofficial commander of the turtles and Splinter's star pupil. Because of his keen eyesight and sense of hearing, Leonardo is extremely well balanced, which makes him more skillful when wielding the ever-flashing katana blade. No matter how dangerous the situation, Leo doesn't mind sticking his neck out. His primary objective in life, cut Shredder down to size. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, classic basic Leonardo. Leonardo was released on August of 2021 with the suggested retail price of $12.97 and he's available exclusively at Walmart. Leonardo was released along with other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle classic basic figures Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello. Leonardo has a classic five points of articulation and his accessories include his deluxe weapon assortment, weapon belt, and weapon rack. Leonardo stands four inches tall and is meant for fans ages four and up. Now that I have Leonardo on my display table, I just want to go over some of his play features and accessories. First, I want to talk about his weapon rack. The cool thing about his weapon rack was it comes with a bunch of ninja weapons. 
And another cool fact is, there's little pegs on the back of the, the little rack. We can store the weapons. You can peg in the stars, or you can just hang the weapons, or just lay them across. So you can store the, the weapons on the weapon rack. And these were included with all four turtles in the original run. And they're also molded from a similar brown plastic. And also, it comes with the signature katana blades. And these are also molded from a very similar plastic. Very soft and flexible. And a very cool fact about these Ninja Turtles is, back when they first debuted back in the late 80s, not a lot of toys gave you the ability to store the weapons on their bodies or on their selves. And each turtle came with a way to store their featured weapons. And Leonardo had his ability to store his swords on the back of his weapons belt. He just slide his sword right in like that. And then I take his other blade and slide it all the way in like that. And that's really cool because you know, back then they had Star Wars and G.I. Joe and, you know, a few other figures. And they came with tons of weapons, but there was no way to store these weapons on the figure. You can do that with Leonardo. Another cool thing about Leonardo is I noticed that, you know, with the, I've reviewed three turtles so far, and Leonardo's my third. But with Raphael and Michelangelo, I did see some noticeable differences from the original. And I don't have the original on hand, so if I mean... If I made note of any differences, it had been a very drastic difference. With Leonardo, I see no difference. I mean, the paint came out very beautiful. He did a great job with that. I'm not sure it's because I did get this figure only a month ago, and I know these figures have been out since August. And when I got Raphael and Michelangelo, I got them close to when they first came out. Maybe the quality issues were, were lacking back then, but this figure, from what I can see just looking at him, I see very little to no differences from the original. Paint's great, the blue pops with the green. I did have all my original turtles that have rubbery heads, but I think that's because I got them right when I initially debuted originally in the 80s. I worked at a, a local retail store, Myers. I was, I was a bagger and I was really young back then. <laughs> but um, I, as soon as these turtles hit shelves, I got them. And as soon as the new wave came out, and I did that for like the first three years of the turtles, so I got every single figure. You know, so I got the initial run of most of the figures. But my turtles did have rubbery hands. But other than that, I see no differences. And also, I have my other two turtles on hand. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put his weapons in his hand. Because another thing I like about vintage figures is the weapons just go right into the hands. You know, and a lot of the newer figures, I, it's just, I have to fight to get some of the weapons in some of their hands. Like some of the Masters of the Universe figures and whatnot. But now I have, I have Leonardo fully armed and loaded. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in Raphael with his size. And as I mentioned, you, know, you see a lot of the, the paint issues I had with my, my Michelangelo and my Leonardo, or my Raphael. You know, and, and the green kind of bleeds through the paint. And the, even the white on the eyes, you know, it's just not, real, not done real well. And I think the green for Raphael is very strange. Not, it's, it's very like, almost like a whitish green. Here's my Michelangelo. I'm a little bummed out because I just pulled Michelangelo off the shelf and I noticed that his nunchuck snapped. So I'm not sure if that's a plastic quality issue or whatnot. But I'm gonna go ahead and if I can find another Michelangelo, I'll probably buy a new one. But I'm gonna go ahead and rotate these figures around so you see all three turtles. And hopefully I'll get Donatello so I can complete the whole foursome. I'm gonna go rotate these around so you guys see what these figures look like from all angles, all together, ready for battle. But if you guys found any of the information in this review valuable, please like and share this video. Also, if you really enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, click the bell to be notified of any future videos. Thank you for watching Rad Steel's awesome toy collector review. I'll check you guys out next time.